Hello, hello, beautiful people. My name is Kelsey. If you are new here, I am a surface pattern designer and illustrator. And today we are going to be cleaning up my whole studio space. And this may be like a weird setup if you've seen my videos before. I don't ever stand here. I'm normally at my desk. But this is really the only space in my studio right now that looks okay and doesn't look like a tornado went through it. So this is where I kind of have to do the intro, which I kind of like lighting. It looks kind of cool. But, oh, I'm also sorry if you can hear my dishwasher right now. I can't really do anything about that. I've been waiting and it just keeps going. So we're going to push through. If you saw, I think, three or four videos ago, you saw that we moved into this awesome space with all of these giant windows. And it's amazing. We still love it. But if you've ever moved, you'll probably understand where I'm coming from. When you move, you kind of just like... The goal is to take all of the items you have from the old space and plop them into the new space. And you kind of just organize enough for the first few weeks to like be able to go to work, come home, eat dinner, maybe watch some TV or read a book and then go to bed. And like that's kind of where our house is. It's kind of especially where the studio is. It, I kind of made it livable enough to work in, but everything is kind of everywhere and... I need to get more organized. I've done a lot of like surface level cleaning, a lot of just dusting and wiping down. Hi Stella. The cat says hi too. A lot of surface level cleaning and then that was kind of it. I would just go on with my day. I would continue working. So right now in this video, really you're making me be able to do this because I would have kept procrastinating, but it's a good video idea. And I think you'll enjoy watching it. I enjoy watching people clean their houses. So maybe you'll enjoy watching me clean my studio. So you're making me productive and thank you for that because I probably would have avoided this until we had like guests stay over. This is going to be three stages. Stage one is going to be the surface level clean. I'm just going to get things that like don't belong in the studio out, put them where they belong move things right now i can look and see my desk right now i have like notebooks i don't need there i have plants that need to be on the window seal like they're just everything's everywhere then stage two is going to be organizing and like especially this right here this is not okay and this is my printer and then it is standing on top of like a little drawer system those drawers are not okay it has anything and everything. I kind of use them as like a take the drawer out, put as many little things as I can in the drawers. And then that was like the way I transported it all to the new place. And I kind of just put them, I will not be honest. I put them all right back in there with all the random things that are inside. Yeah, it happened. So the drawers, I definitely need to clean and organize. That'll be probably the main part of organization is just these little drawers. Then two or three, Yes. Stage three will be the deep clean. So wiping down everything, vacuuming, uh, the window seals, the window ledges need to be wiped down because I have plants on them and some dirt has kind of gotten on them. It's gross. But yes, that is the plan. I will say we do have painters coming in today. So hopefully this doesn't get too awkward because they're going to be right on these windows and they're going to see me. So this, who knows how this will go. So we are now under my desk and I'm going to try and organize this. This has kind of become our catch all of everything. It has Cam's laptop stuff in here, some like random tape, an easel, um, I don't know what this is, vinyl. We don't have a cricket, but we have vinyl. I'm also, again, sorry if you can hear them working. It's not much I can do, but we're still going to clean. But yeah, I'm going to organize this and 
figure out homes for these so it just it'll probably still be here and it'll probably still have stuff in it but it won't be oh they're on the balcony it won't be as um crazy but yeah let's start with that Now we are on the opposite side of the studio, so if you saw my, like when I was moving everything in, this is one side of the studio, and then this side is where, I can probably just show you. So this is where we are, and then we're going to do this. So you know how everyone has that drawer that everything just kind of gets thrown into? Well, these are all mine for everything. Some of them are actual work stuff and like stickers. I can see right now I have like stickers and tape and then there's like this is just it's, it needs to be cleaned out and it need there's certain like crafts and things that I got into at one point. And now I don't use them at all. I think in one of these drawers, yeah, I have a metal like a what is this? A wood burning set I got a few years ago. It just really needs to be like reorganized and reset up and you're gonna see the dark drawer that has like literally all of my just cords and electronics and I just opened it and I'm like, oh my god. That's basically when we moved, I threw everything in here and I haven't really touched it. So we're going to touch it and organize it and make it better so I can find things that I'm actually looking for.
So, slight mess up on my part. I didn't realize that the camera had stopped recording and that the card was full and I finished all of it. So I'm just gonna show you and then, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I finally finished and I looked at the camera and I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. But yeah, I'll show you the inside of each drawer, so sorry. So this drawer is literally just like printer paper, stickers, tape. Um, this is a custom late, um, stamp and the ink for it. The second drawer is more miscellaneous things. I have extra paintbrushes, some sticker packs, um, card things, more tape or paint, um, more paint, some cello bags. Uh, back here, I have some like spongy brushes as well as pretty colored ribbon for any like flat lays. Third drawer is a lot of fabric. Whenever you do spoon flower, you have to order fabric before it will go online and be available for sale. So this is what you kind of end up with. Um, I want to be able to make something out of this, but I'm just not sure what. Next are just a whole bunch of like drawing notebooks and paper, things like that. But it really is just mainly a drawer of fabric now. Now these two drawers are the ones that I don't think were filmed. So this one is just like kind of my arts and crafts. I have a bunch of pennies that I want to make into kind of a print. And this was like I was telling you earlier. It's a bunch of things for wood burning. I have a stamp maker. This is for, um, uh, what are they called? Um, paint spraying. Uh, spray painting, that's what it is. It's paint spraying, so instead of you having to like hurt your finger pushing down the nozzle, it does it for you. Um, really boring, riveting content, really. I have a stapler, more wood burning things, and then a roller, and then a pin back here for my little Wacom that I have under my desk. And this is the drawer that I was saying. Everyone has this drawer. It is just all of my electronics. It was absolutely crazy. It's a little bit more organized now, but I mean, it's as organized as I can get a drawer of just wires and extra bits. Um, I have little pieces for tripods. I have little tripods, my Apple pencil box. Um, this is a tiny Cricut pad that we never used. Uh, these are, I believe, little pieces for my old pegboard. This is a charger. Um, this is my old Vail Resorts um, card, key card pass thing. These, I believe, are the rope for, or the wires for the Wacom to connect to a computer. Uh, these are little films for the camera. That way you can, like if you're in a lot of daylight, you can put one over. And it's kind of like sunglasses for your lenses. Um, little GoPro. I think it's a whole bag of just GoPro items. There's a microphone back here. Yeah, it's just, it's a lot of electronics and things, but it's more organized now. So that's better.
This is the end of the video, if you can't already tell. It is so clean in here. It smells so good. I love it. I always forget like burning a candle and vacuuming and just all of the things. It just smells so good. I'm real relaxed. I feel very productive. I'm about to get some computer work done because today's Sunday. So I have to get the rest of my week ready to go. But yeah, having a, walking into a clean studio tomorrow is going to be top tier. Chef's kiss. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for staying for this entire video. If you have made it to this video, clearly you like my chaotic energy. Clearly you like what you've seen so far. If you like art, if you like service pattern design, if you like creative business advice, I'm your girl. I don't claim to be an expert at all. I am learning just as much as you're learning. I'm probably just a few steps ahead and I'm always happy to give my advice. Um, thank you for staying especially through this drawer. I'm so sorry again that it you didn't see the whole chaotic, but it's clean. It feels so good. If you did stay for this entire thing, please like and subscribe. It would be great. I'd love to have you here. And yeah, I'll see you next week.